So hello friends, welcome in this lecture. And, uh, this is uh, the continuation of last lectures in which uh, I have discussed about uh, the carrier concentration of uh, electrons in conduction band and uh, uh, the carrier concentration that's a hole in a valence band. Now, in this lecture, I will discuss about three points. The first one is the evaluation of Fermi energy in intrinsic semiconductor. Second, the law of mass action for especially in this uh, intrinsic semiconductor and uh, that conductivity in uh, intrinsic semiconductor. So these three topics uh, will be covered in this uh, lecture and uh, most of the part is mathematical and uh, followed by uh, its physical importance, physical, uh, physical importance uh, and the concentration is only in this intrinsic semiconductor that is uh, uh, the pure semiconductor just like silicon, germanium type semiconductors, no doping is there. So let us start the first one, the evolution of Fermi energy level in intrinsic semiconductor. So what we know in intrinsic semiconductor, so in intrinsic semiconductor, semiconductor, the numbers of, the numbers, the concentration of, concentration of electrons in conduction band is always equal to is equal to the concentration of holes in balance band so that uh, generation and the recombination of uh, that electrons and holes at a particular temperature is uh, uh, taken place uh, simultaneously so, as an, uh, an equilibrium, the con concentration of that electrons in conduction band is uh, uh, equal to the concentration of holes in valence band. And one can write this is n number of uh, electrons and E it is equal to n. So, one can write uh, where from our previous calculation this n E it is equal to and see this is another constant corresponding to conduction band uh, with the exponential of minus E C minus E F by K T and this N P the numbers of uh, carrier concentration of hole in balance band that is N V exponential of E F minus E V by K T. So if we have this uh, this is the valence band and uh, this is the conduction band so in the valence band numbers of holes this uh, np it is equal to numbers of electrons per unit volume at particular temperature in conduction but these are equal and uh, mathematically it is represented by this so by comparing these two when we'll have this uh, this implies is nc exponential of tc ef by kt it is equal to np exponential of ef ev by kt but this uh, fermi energy level is uh, somewhere in between here uh, so this is fermi energy level and this is uh, uh, ec and this is ev so here just uh, we have to take care of this uh, uh, expression that ec minus ef is here and here ef minus ev so by comparing these two, so let us take the logarithm of this. So this log of by taking log of both sides.
so when we'll have log of n c minus e c minus e f by two by k t, and it is equal to log of n v minus e f minus the e v by k t. And our target is to find the value of this e f. So let us take this uh, term corresponding to this e f in a single side. So that is equal to this uh, minus of e c minus e f by k t and uh, plus e f minus e v by k t. This is equal to log of n v minus log of n c. So we will have this e f. This is also positive. So this is two e f minus e c minus e v. This is with minus sign. And uh, by k t, this is equal to log of n v by n c. One can further calculate for E F. It is equal to this can be transferred here and uh, this can be also there. So this is equal to that E C minus E V by two. It is divided by two and, uh, plus log of plus K T log of N V by N C. And again, this is uh, by two. So, where these two constants n c is equal to this n c and n v, this n c is equal to two multiplied by two. This is corresponds c. So in each term, k t by h square k by two, and uh, this n v this is equal to this two times this two m h plus k t. This one by term also here. So by h square h square three by two. So by putting this value, all the other parameters two pi h square k t and uh, these are some common in both cases. Only the difference is the here that m e m e is star is effective. Electrons and this is effective across a hole. So by putting this here, so all common terms uh, terms will be cancelled out, and this E F it is equal to now uh, E C minus E V by two. Plus k t by two log of m h star by m e star three by two. And one can also write this is equal to e c minus e v by two plus here three by two will be here. So three k t by four log of m h star by m. So this is the pre-final output, and uh, uh, this E F is actually the function of temperature, and this is also the function of effective mass of fluid and effective mass of electron, as well as this uh, gap. And here, uh, there is some stuff. This is this will be with the plus sign. Now. Okay, so should be there so this is this will be with a plus sign and uh, let this uh, m h is equal to m e for intrinsic semiconductor then this uh, uh, can be taken as equal to zero at a particular temperature at a particular temperature, temperature 
18 when we take this masses effective masses identical then this will be 1 which is equivalent to 0 so this EF is equivalent to EC plus EP by 2 and uh, one can write this is equivalent to EC minus EV by 2 plus EV just check it so this is EC minus EV by 2 one minus sign is here that's why this is a separate plus sign and one can write this is equivalent to EZ by 2 this is a difference this is a difference is taken as equal to EZ so this EC minus EV is equivalent to EZ and the plus EF EV so if this EV is uh, taken as zero energy level. Okay, this EF can be taken as equal to EF is equal to EZ by two. So this is for the intrinsic semiconductor, and this is for this is particular mass M H star is equal to M H star, and the effective mass is when taken as comparable. When we increase the temperature, when we have a plot of this temperature and this is the energy, then this Fermi level, this Fermi level, the position of this Fermi level uh, may be changed. And here, this is uh, this is E F E F for M H star is equal to M E star. So effective mass is if comparable, then the Fermi energy level is just uh, constant as far as that uh, uh, temperature increases. But when this is not equal to if M E star is not equal to M E star, but uh, if we have two cases, if this M E star is uh, uh, less than M H star and M E star, this is greater than M H star, but in this case, this. Uh, the variation will be this uh, the second term logarithmic term will be effective uh, and uh, when the logarithmic, log logarithmic term will be effective as temperature then the uh, we will have a plot like this this is another line and this is uh, next one and this is for the when m h is greater than m e and here this m h is less than m e so the if the effective mass of hole is greater than the effective mass of electron then that Fermi energy level varies uh, along this and if this is less than this Me then this uh, Fermi energy level uh, varies with temperature like this. So this is a simple plot of Fermi energy level in between that conduction and uh, well uh, balance band and uh, this is the center where this uh, uh, Me is equal to Mh. Now we will start the second point that is uh, Calculation of uh, that uh, law of mass action for this intrinsic semiconductor. So let's start the second point. Uh, the law of mass action. Law of mass action for intrinsic semiconductor. So again, we will take that condition. This N P it is equal to N E, the carrier concentration of electron is equal to carrier concentration of hole, and uh, one can write this is equal to N A, the carrier concentration, carrier concentration of intrinsic semiconductor. So this uh, one can write this N I square it is equal to N E multiplied by N P, where this N E is equivalent to N C exponential of minus E C minus E F by K T and uh, N P this is equivalent to N P exponential of E F minus E P by K T. So by putting this, one will have this uh, N I square that is equal to N C N P and exponential of this minus Ec minus Ef by Kt multiplied by exponential of minus Ef minus Ef by Kt. So here this uh, Ef is in positive sign and here this is in this negative sign. So this will be cancelled out as uh, we will have this N 
c multiplied by n v exponential of minus e c minus e v by k t. So here this e c minus e v can be replaced by uh, e z that forbidden energy gap and uh, we can put this uh, n c and n v here. So here n c this is equal to 2 2 pi m e and k t by h square e by 2 and uh, n v this is equal to 2 times 2 pi m h star the effective mass of 4 multiplied by Boltzmann constant by h square 3 by 2 and uh, this e c and uh, E C minus E V can be written as equal to E Z. So now we will put the value of this N C and N V here, and this E C minus E V is replaced by uh, that the forbidden energy gap E Z. So the common terms we have this two pi and K T and the H square is common in the, this two, and uh, so this N I square is equal to this. Uh, 2 times 2 pi kt by h square 3 by 2 and we will take the square of this and uh, that uh, m e star and uh, m h star these are in the 3 by 2 so multiplied by 3 by 2 and uh, exponential of minus e z by k t ok so now so we will have this n i let us solve it for this so take the square of these two sides so this is 2 times 2 pi k t by h square 3 by 2 and this will be m a star and h star 3 by 4 and exponential of this e z by 2 k t and uh, if this m e star m h star is taken is equal to this effective mark is taken is equal to uh, equal and this is if m So when we have this n i, it is equal to two times two pi k t s square three by two m three by two, and the exponential of minus e z by two. So this is a constant. So one can take uh, this is uh, a constant c, and uh, let us take this uh, temperature t outside of this. So this till 3 by 2 and exponential of E C by 2 kt. So for a particular temperature T this N I is constant and this is known as the known as the law of mass action. And uh, we will further discuss uh, this uh, law of mass action in the uh, when we uh, consider that in extrinsic type semiconductor and uh, we will detail this law of mass action. But here this N I is equal to constant multiplied by the temperature term and uh, this exponential of this. Now the third one, the conductivity of intrinsic semiconductor and uh, uh, the conductivity of intrinsic semiconductor. So we, we will use the same calculation method we have adopted for the conduction of um, solid and there we have also uh, deal with uh, the conduct conductivity of that semiconductor. But here just I am uh, taking some detail of that. So we have taken a slip of a semiconductor uh, like this and uh, that, uh, this is the length and uh, this is the cross section area but here the conductivity is uh, in the case of this intrinsic semiconductor the conductivity is conductivity is due to both carrier carrier concentration 
that is the electrons and the holes so electrons in conduction band and holes and the valence band take part equally uh, in uh, this conductivity process so if we directly take uh, the value of that current so current current flowing through a semiconductor especially that intrinsic semiconductor that will be i that is equal to current due to electron plus current due to hole this is a current due to electrons and current due to hole and one can write in terms of current density so this uh, in terms of current density because we have to show the direction also so the current density is vector quantity so this is z it is equal to z e plus z h where we know this j is uh, equal to uh, that field applied field e if this applied field is e and uh, this is uh, these are the uh, electrons and uh, these are the holes moving in the opposite direction so this is the field so electrons will move in this and holes will go in this so this j is equal to sigma e so one can write this z it is equal to sigma due to electron multiplied by e plus sigma due to hole conductivity due to electron and uh, this is uh, sigma e and this is uh, e so by cancelling out this this so sigma it is equal to sigma e plus sigma h so this conductivity is conductivity due to electron and conductivity due to hole and uh, we have sigma is equal to n multiplied by its charge and uh, multiplied by the mobility where n is carrier concentration e is charge and uh, mu is mobility so one can write this sigma it is equal to n e multiplied by e multiplied by mu e plus n p multiplied by e and this is mu h so mu h this is corresponding to hole this is corresponding to electron and if we take this uh, n e it is equal to n p it is equal to n i Have this sigma it is equal to n i multiplied by e mu e plus mu h and recently we have calculated where this n i we have calculated as equal to two times two pi k t by h square three by two so if we take uh, separately the mass of effective mass of hole and uh, Electron, then one will have this m e star multiplied by m h star to the power of three by four. And there we have also another term that was related to orbital energy gap. And this is e z by two k t. So this is n i. So when this is multiplied by now e and uh, mu e plus mu h so these are the constant and uh, one term is here so one can take this uh, temperature term uh, so this is that expression for the conductivity where this uh, this is constant obviously that mobility of electrons and holes are constant in at a particular uh, temperature and uh, in a electric field and uh, mass uh, these are also constant and here that uh, for a particular temperature this t can be taken as constant so this n i so this uh, conductivity also. so 
and we, we were talking this n i is equal to this so for conductivity this sigma is equal to this 2 times 2 pi kt by h square 3 by 2 and a star and h star and this is 3 by 4 and exponential of minus e z by 2 kt and then the charge terms and the mu e plus mu h the mobility of electrons and holes so here these are the constant this is constant the charge is constant and the, the, the charge the mass is constant and the, all these are constant and the, one can take this sigma it is equal to sigma naught exponential of e z by 2 kt where sigma naught is a constant which is also the function of temperature and 2 times 2 pi kt by h square 3 by 2 and the m e star m h star uh, 3 by 4 and the e mu h plus mu so this is this is uh, that final expression for conductivity which uh, depends on this forbidden energy gap Kz at a particular temperature. So if we have a plot uh, or we want to calculate this Ez, then we can get a plot between conductivity, log of conductivity and 1 upon t because uh, we can take logarithm of this. So this log sigma is equal to log sigma naught minus Ez by 2. So if, if you get this uh, log, plot of log so sigma and uh, 1 by t, then we will get a uh, plot like this. And the slope, slope it is equal to this uh, minus Ez by 2. So by Plotting by getting in the plot, we can calculate the slope and we can get this uh, easy, easy to equal to minus uh, slope multiplied by 2k. So, this is uh, uh, the conductivity of uh, intrinsic semiconductor, which mainly depends on this uh, uh, easy, the Faraday energy gap. So, thank you all. And we drive two and three times this, and one can get some more physics uh, by taking each and every uh, points of this derivation. Thank you.